How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Manti Gaming. So it is finally time to start our rebuild series. Uh, I'm super excited about this. It's also really cool because we have this going live. Uh, right now, we're actually live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Um, so you can see the chat right there on the screen, actually, and uh, my face and stuff. Um, that's because we're doing this uh, with a live stream. That's something that I've never done before, um, but it's kind, of, it's kind of cool. Found out that we can actually do that, so why not? Um, and it's pretty appropriate because most of this series is actually going to be uh, live streamed. Um, so um, I'm going to be telling you everything we're going to be doing along with this series, this rebuild. Um, and then, uh, but a lot of the stuff we're actually doing, like the killing of the bosses, doing Slayer and everything, are going to be on our live streams. So if you guys want to check it out, be sure to subscribe to the, or not really subscribe, if, well, if you want to, go ahead. But make sure to follow me on Twitch. You can find that Twitch in the description down below. Uh, because a lot of the content is going to be through Twitch. We're going to try to make this as much of a live series as possible with all of the highlights being in the YouTube content. Um, so right here, guys, uh, I have my inventory of stuff that we're going to we're going to have to be able to use throughout the uh, the rebuild. Um, but what this rebuild is really going to do is I really want to make this to be able to show you guys how to go from having no gold at all um, to being able to build up to something close to a billion gold. Um, our goal really is just to get full PVM gear. So we're going to want to get a full set of tier 90s uh, as well as good armor and everything to be able to do some bossing. Um, once we have reached a full set of tier 90s, while also having our other gear back up, like having some power armor, um, having some good Slayer gear and everything like that, um, then we'll be done with the series. Uh, but it's not like a specific goal. It's really just like uh, get you back to a point where you're able to do you know, pretty much whatever you want to. You, you already have tier 90s. Um, you've got the money to be able to play the game efficiently and whatnot. So it's kind of like zero to efficiency or something like that. But anyway, I'm sure it'll have a better title when I go back and edit it. <laughs> um, so... Go, uh, really quick, we'll go ahead and look at the price checker because obviously I got to show you guys that we don't have anything on here. Um, right now, it shows that we have 1,118,000 gold, um, although we don't actually have 1,118,000 gold. And hey, look, someone just subscribed and it's gigantic on the screen. How oh, great. Here we go. Um, so uh, while looking at this, it does say that we have this, um, but we don't actually have any gold. If you look in my money pouch, there is zero gold. Um, there's also nothing in the bonds pouch, stuff like that. It just says oh, money in the bank. I'll show you guys why it says like that. It's just kind of a, like a glitch with the, uh, with the wealth evaluator. Unfortunately, there's not anything I can do about that. I can't really reduce this further down than what it's already at because there is nothing tradable in the bank. Um, if I go ahead and withdraw these scrimshaws right here, um, you can see what I'm talking about. We'll go ahead and look back here really quickly. Now it says my inventory, I have 200,000 gold of tradable wealth. Um, that's obviously not true because you can't trade these scrimshaws once you started using them. So that is basically where that extra gold is coming from. Uh, so just understand that we are pretty much at zero. Um, also, as we go along, I'm probably going to burn through these scrimshaws. That way we do get closer to zero, as, as close to zero as we possibly can. Um, but I guess we're starting at a million because there's not really any way to go below a million. Um, Along with that, uh, a lot of the tradable stuff um, that you're able to repair and everything have already taken off of the account. Um, so we don't have anything like, uh, you know, uh, cinder banes and stuff like that that you would typically be using. We also don't have a max cape either. The max cape was taken off and put into the, uh, the cape rack. Um, hey, look, Evo Salix is a new subscriber during the video. Awesome. Um, so what we're going to be doing, though, is uh, some of those things that we do currently have, like we have the max cape in the uh, cape rack uh, in this in this tab right here we have some gear that is augmented has some good perks and everything we have some gear in here that can't be repaired um, none of these things we're going to be allowed to use during the series except for when we have when we earn enough money to be able to buy them from ourselves so what we're going to do is for example if i want to be able to use my virtus robe top here that has some good perks and everything on it uh, which is really just scavenge it doesn't really help my combat um, what I'm going to have to do is be able to uh, transfer enough gold off of this account that is going to be able to pay for a Virtus Robe Top and the Augmenter in order for us to be able to essentially buy it without me having to destroy it, which would be a waste of time. I would just be buying it from the GE anyway, and we can't use it until then, so it's totally fair. Everything else in this slot is also in the same kind of manner. We have to be able to actually earn the money to be able to use them first uh, before we're able to actually use them. 
Uh, so some of the gear that we're going to have to be starting off right here because it's like, okay, obviously, you know, we're not going to be able to use that cool stuff. What are we going to be using? So right here we've got our inventory of just some ideas of what we might be using during this and some of the stuff that you guys can be using too because first and foremost, that I want this series to be something that is uh, you guys are able to learn from and be able to build up your own account. Uh, a really quick note here is I'm not going to be using any flipping and no merchant, like no merchanting in general, no flipping, no investing, nothing like that is going to happen in this series uh, because that obviously number one would not be the most entertaining to watch. And thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> um, but it's something that uh, obviously you guys know uh, with the, my content on my channel as mostly what I do. So this is going to be something completely different and also is going to make it so even if you guys aren't good at flipping, you're still going to be able to make a ton of money. So some stuff that we're going to be able to start off with here is going to be the Slime Hunter gear. The Slime Hunter gear is tier 75 tank armor for melee, which is a really great option to start off using because it is tier 75 uh, and it is melee. It's not hybrid, which means that, you know, it's got some pretty decent stats along with it. So it's not really that bad to start out with. You also have the Ring of Vigor. Ring of Vigor is a free item you can get from Dungeoneering. If you don't have one of these, you can go grab one of them. Uh, doing your daily sinkholes and your uh, challenges is a really great way to rack up your tokens. Um, a Demon Horn Necklace, another really great item from there. Feel free to grab that too. It is free items, so we're able to use that. Silver Hawk Boots, um, not really going to be able to charge them too much because that's kind of expensive. Uh, but the bonuses from this are actually really useful for just having a, a, a pair of power boots that are free. And then the necklaces such as the Ar Ar Arcane Stream Necklace that are a free item from Dungeoneering. The base necklace themselves do cost like a little bit over 100000 or whatever, like buying the Whisper, the Murmur, and everything like that. So technically, this is actually going to go in that slot that we have to buy from ourselves. So that is actually not going to be something we're going to start off right, at, right away. But I want to show you guys this because this is something you'll be able to access very quickly because it's actually a very cheap necklace for how powerful it actually is. For doing teleports, since we don't have like some of the other like um, more pricey teleport stuff like the Max Cape and stuff like that, we have the Attuned Crystal Teleport Seed to get around Prif. And then using War Priest in general is actually a really great way. Most players are probably going to have War Priest already on their stuff and if uh, like already on their bank. If they already have War Priest in their bank, it's going to be really great to start out with being a tier 75 hybrid. You're going to be able to use it for most Slayer tasks that are not super difficult uh, and get yourself to quite a, few, quite a bit of the game. <coughs> so looking through here, Mystical Staff. Uh, one of the things we're going to need right off in the, in the beginning is some uh, runes. Uh, Mystical Staff will be able to handle that rune problem because it will give you all the elements. If you guys would like to be able to get one of these, you can get one of these by cashing in your oddments, the oddment store, to be able to get the Mystical Staff. So it's something that a lot of players will be able to get early on as well. And then coming into the tier 88 free stuff from ports. So if you have grinded ports enough to be able to get stuff like the Elite Tetsu Wakazashi and the other Elite stuff. Uh, actually, there's, there's only the uh, the dual wielding melee and the dual wielding uh, uh, mage. The dual wielding range is just like, you know, darts you throw so you can't really like save those. They'll be gone pretty quickly. Uh, but the mage and the melee is something that would be really useful to use during a rebuild because making these is very, very, very cheap. Uh, these are something that we will have to cash in about 600k or no actually well 600k or so each in order to be able to use um, so we will we'll, we will be able to use these very quickly on just like the necklace we are going to have to be able to get a little bit of money before we're able to start using these guys um, and so uh, but it is really good to know because uh, really good to know to use these guys sorry uh, because they are very very good tier 88 weapons uh, for almost free is amazing Next thing up is Chaotic Stabs, um, or just Chaotic Weapons in general. Chaotics are a tier 80 weapon that will get you through most Slayer tasks and be able to kill most like valuable money monsters in the game. Um, so Chaotix is not something to look over. Maybe consider grabbing a couple Chaotix when you're going for your Ring of Vigor or your Demon Horn Necklace. And then last but not least um, is, the, C is the, like, the, uh, the Ports Armor. So all the ports armor are tier 85. Um, the tier 85 armor is pretty awesome for killing most things. You can even do most bosses in this gear. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it outside of the fact that it's tanked. So it doesn't really give you a whole bunch of like offensive boost. But as far as trying to rebuild on a well, rebuild on a rebuild, it is a really great option because it is free. Um, but if you don't have port stuff unlocked and everything like that, then you can definitely go through some of the other easier options like War Priest and stuff like that. Um, and we can talk more about that as, as we go along. If you guys join the streams as we go, or even put in the comments down below as you're watching these videos, if you have specific questions um, about your, like, like, Oh, everyone's rebuild will be different, right? Everyone's progress is going to be different. Everyone's bank's going to be different. So if you guys have specific questions that you all would like me to answer as we go, feel free to put them in there. I'll try to keep them in the video if I can, and I'll definitely answer them on the stream. 
All right, guys, so we have decided to go to Warped Tortoises. These are a uh, monster that most people really don't even think about when it comes to making money. But these guys actually can make you a very high amount of cash very quickly with having little to no gear at all. So the gear that I chose to bring here is going to be our Tier 75 Slime Hunter chest plate. As I said, that is free from the slime event. Um, all Silverhawk boots, Illuminated Book of Chaos, but you can put whatever you want in that slot. Uh, we're going to be using Chaotic Long Swords. Nothing, nothing big, nothing fancy here. Terran Quiver for extra prayer, which you might not even need. Uh, and a 99 cape and a Brawler's Knockout Necklace, which is part of that uh, free necklaces. Uh, also, I decided, you know, like... Buying the necklace for these is like 100k. So in order for us to like try to buy that back from ourselves, it's just really kind of wasting time. So, uh, and it, it it wouldn't be really be worth the clip. I'd be like, oh, we made 100k. Go back and made blah 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 blah. So saving time and everything, we're getting to like we will buy like the stuff that actually costs money. But chances are you guys already have a good necklace anyway. So go ahead and put whatever necklace you want in that slot. Um, but overall, we're gonna be starting with melee. And we're going to be starting melee because of the fact we just don't have any runes, we don't have any arrows, so melee is really our only option at this point. Uh, Ring of Vigor is also going to be finishing off our equipment setup, and we're just going to be killing these guys. As you can see right here, I've only killed a few of these guys right now, and this is already our current loot. Uh, we did not come here with any of the tradable loot here, so we've already made 50,000 gold in our first few kills. So we're going to go ahead and fill up a full inventory here. But the main reason why these guys give you such really such good money early on is because of the fact that they give you these tortoise shells. These tortoise shells are used to make war tortoises, and so they're pretty pretty high demand actually, and they're worth over 13,000 gold each one. Uh, one of our drops from this Warped Tortoise was actually worth 39,000 gold. We've only killed a few of these, and this is where we're already at, so we're off to a really great start. Also, something else to mention, too, is we are resetting our drop log, so our, re our drop log is going to be completely reset. Uh, I didn't really reset it before I killed a few tortoises, but we only killed like five or whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and have a brand new fresh drop log for the entire series. That way you guys can check in whenever you want to see what we have. And as we go through, uh, once again, if you want to join our streams and everything when you see them on there, uh, just subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the Twitch, uh, and then make sure your notifications are on. That way you guys can uh, follow along. Game Crazy is here, and he is going to be joining us as we kill these, war these uh, warped warped tortoises wow i can't really say that so anyway gonna be lots of fun let's do it okay guys so that was after a very short uh set of kills of some tortoises we got our first full inventory um so these tortoise shells did sell for about 100 about uh sorry thirteen thousand each which is really good uh, so we got 130k just from those and we're gonna go ahead and grab all this back our inventory so our very first uh inventory these guys did give us 147,000 gold we're gonna buy some basic stuff such as a uh, ring of wealth uh, and then some other basic gear and then go back for maybe one or two more loads of stuff from these guys um, that way we have enough to be able to buy some seeds uh, some runes uh, and stuff like that so we're going to kill a little bit more of these tortoises and get some more stuff like that uh, just to really be able to get um, supplies to be able to go further after killing all of those warped tortoises we did as you can see up here we got 1 million and 45k in drops roughly uh, but the only thing is, though, some of this stuff is selling for way less than what it actually shows for, like, GE mid. For example, these Swamp Tars aren't even selling at 76 out of 114. So um, we're going to let those sit there. And these cabbages are very slowly selling at quite a bit less than what they're supposed to be going for. Uh, so we're not going to get our full amount back from these that we thought we were going to get. Uh, but this is the stuff we sold right here. We sold a total of these 35 of these uh, tortoise shells and a bunch of other stuff that you got from these guys. Uh, overall, these guys are a really great option for, some, for someone who wants to do some PVM uh, method of getting off the ground uh, with having very, very little uh, gear to work off of. This gives us 861,000 gold. So we're going to be uh, hitting some shops now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and loot all of those shops uh, and we'll just see what we get along the way. All right, guys. So this right here is our full loot from hitting all of the shops. As you can see right here, we've gotten quite a bit of stuff. We actually ran out of money along the way. Um, so some of the stuff we weren't able to grab, uh, but we really looted as much as we possibly could. I already sold off the nature runes and cosmics that I grabbed along the way because we had to get more money to buy more stuff. Um, but we very clearly made a massive amount of profit by doing this. Uh, some of the stuff made like pretty astronomical profit like in, uh, it's compared to what you buy it for. For example, these wizard road tops is something you buy for like 2 GP from the shop. And uh, they sell for like 685 each. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the time to sell all this off. And I'm also going to have a pretty nice list here for you guys to um, find uh, all these different things. If you guys would like to see 
a video all about where to do the shop runs and stuff like that, then feel free to request that in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to come out with that in a much more detailed uh, like version. Uh, but I don't want to make this entire video about the shop runs, but this is the kind of stuff that we're able to get from the shop runs. When we started and we headed off to start our shop runs, we uh, had about 900,000 gold. And I also bought a yak uh, pouch, you know, just something small like that, just to mention there. Um, but if uh, after the 900,000 gold uh, being spent, um, our wealth evaluator right now shows us at 4.2 million. Um, so that is pretty amazing. That's some pretty uh, awesome progress right there. Uh, the thing is, though, um, is we'll have to see how much this stuff actually ends up selling for. Uh, because some of the stuff might sell for a little bit lower, some might sell for a little bit higher. So after it all gets sold, then we'll see how much we made from our shop runs. Uh, and then we're going to be buying um, some seeds and stuff like that so we can actually start farming. And then also one last thing too is the runes we got. Probably not going to sell those off because we need to use those to make Vizwax, which is obviously very profitable um, thing to do daily. All right, guys. So it's been uh, one night. So <laughs> yesterday's stream uh, ended with us uh, trying to sell off some of the stuff in the Grand Exchange. Um, as you can see, some of the stuff is selling, but it's going very slowly. It did give us a, hey, Demon Minute is now a subscriber. Hey, thank you so much. That is actually a Twitch sub. We're building up our Twitch subs. Um, as I said, uh, we're doing live uh, clips and everything. These clips are being made live. So if you're joining this, joining the streams, you might actually be in one of the videos. Um, so selling off some of the stuff here is is giving us enough money to be able to buy our supplies for farming. Uh, so I'm buying some marigold because they are very high profit right now. Uh, potato cactus is always great profit. Uh, Morcella mushrooms are amazing profit. Hey, thank you Arno for following. I may have told them that they'll pop up if they do this. So hey, they're uh, taking advantage of that. Um, reed seed is something else we're going to be trying to buy here because those are also very profitable. Um, and then fell stocks, uh, the reason, hey, Zillek Zek is now a subscriber. Thank you. That is a YouTube subscriber. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, the fell stock seeds, uh, are not the most profitable seed, but they do give you the most experience. They actually give you a significant amount of experience over the other herbs. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these for the sake of XP. Um, so that way we can start doing some uh, some uh, farm runs. And it is now Slayer Weekend. Um, so for the rest of the weekend, I'm going to be doing Slayer runs and then doing some farm runs, in, farm, farm runs in between in order to maximize our profit. And I'm going to be slowly selling the stuff off out of our new newly made junk tab as we go along this right here is our current junk tab um this is all the stuff from all the shops and everything we're going to slowly sell this off as we go uh kind of do that in between uh the slayer runs as well and then this right here is going to be our new slayer tab so as you can see there's absolutely nothing in our slayer tab currently um hope by the end of the weekend this is hopefully going to be just packed full of really cool stuff so um we will see what we have at the end of the weekend uh, and then this right here is going to be our supply tab that we're building. I do have overloads, so overloads are going to be nice to use, uh, but we don't really have any other types of potions, so I'm going to have to spend some money uh, buying some other supplies. But you guys will see the what supplies and everything we end up getting over the weekend. Um, I know that you're watching this after the stream is already over, but hopefully you joined in on the stream and then we're able to see everything for Slayer Weekend. We'll see you guys after Slayer Weekend.